So many companies are working already on large projects when they start to adopt Agile, and they immediately just want to take their 500 people and turn them onto Agile next week and be done with it. And it's exactly the wrong way to go. Um, I think what's important is to start at the team level where Agile really was born. Agile talks a lot about what happens in individual teams. And get your teams doing Agile or Scrum or whatever process you like correctly and well and repeatably. And I think it's important for the company to be able to know whether the teams are doing well. Often you get to a company that's got 20 teams doing Scrum and if you ask, well, how are they doing, it's, it's not necessarily the case. People in the teams know, but if you look closely, you'll find that some of the teams are doing really well, some of the teams maybe not so well. So being able to understand where you are, and the, we often call it the maturity level, right? The process maturity or the agile maturity of your teams is really the key first step. And knowing that you've got the basics down. You can do iterations, and you can do them repeatably. You can create potentially shippable software each time. You have product owners, you have product backlogs, you have velocity, you use burn down charts. All of the basics of the processes that we teach um, need to be in place before you, you move upwards. I think the, the second thing is that there needs to be some understanding of Agile, the, the philosophies and the principles and the goals and the benefits and the downfalls and all of that stuff outside of the development teams. The first place that people go when they start to adopt Agile is to the teams, which makes a lot of sense. And the teams pick up the process and start to work it. But if you, if you don't have to go very far outside of the teams before you find people either not knowing that something's changing or not understanding what's going on and, not, and being more upset than glad at, at the changes because even changed for the good when it's a surprise can upset people when your career, is, you know, your paycheck and all of that is involved. So I think it's important for the, the other parts of the company. You need to get some alignment. I'm not so... I'm not so, so concerned that marketing is using Scrum or not. That's a completely separate decision. But marketing sure does need to know how to work with development teams that are using Scrum because they're, doing, they're, they're looking for something different from marketing and marketing needs to start to provide that. Because as soon as you put 10 or 20 or 30 teams together and, and then start asking marketing questions for, to support them, it just makes it 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 times more difficult. So getting it done on the small scale first, I think, is really important. And make, getting an organizational understanding outside of Scrum. And this really means upwards and outwards. Right? You've got to have your C-levels and you know, your CEO and CXOs. They need to understand that something's going on, too, because it's fragile. The benefits are there, but it's easy to lose them in the soup. So, so making sure that everybody's got the basics down and everybody's speaking the same language is very key. But beyond that, I'm not sure it's all that complicated. And I don't know that you have to go through extensive, detailed assessments of asking everybody in the, you know, in the company 40 different questions and making sure they can all answer them correctly and all that. The basics are have your teams that know how to do Agile and have the rest of the company understand it. And, and I think it's that simple and I wouldn't be afraid to go beyond that.